Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can graph multiple lines in Google Sheets. For this purpose, I created a, a short overview of yearly sales. Let's suppose this is a motorcycle company and I want to see the sales for each month for the past five years. So what I could do is I could just create five different graphs and for each year I would see the monthly sales. But this isn't quite um, simple to look at and I want to see all the data in one glance. For this, uh, there is a solution in Google Sheets since you can m graph multiple lines in one graph. And let me just show you how you can do that. It's actually quite simple. So the first thing I'm doing is I click uh, on one cell, I activate um, and select one cell that is within the data set. So it needs to be in the neighborhood of the data set. So Google Sheets will create a uh, line chart uh, automatically. The next step I'm doing is I go on the menu item insert and then I select chart. I click on chart and once I clicked on chart, as you can see, you see an overview of the past five years. In one chart, uh, you see uh, the different lines that represent each a year and you will see for each of the month, uh, the past five years, uh, how many sales uh, were made in that uh, specific month. Pretty neat, isn't it? What you can also see is that the uh, chart editor opened up. So you see here the chart type um, was selected automatically, line chart, and it fits that uh, purpose quite nicely. You also see the series. So uh, Google Sheets uh, realized that um, each of the columns is one year and has uh, data from January to December. And these are the series, uh, it is the series data you see right here. So uh, let's say I want to modify this data. This is also no problem and change the, uh, the chart a little bit. I can just go on the three dots here. It's also called the hamburger menu. And I go, let's say I don't want to have 2021 because I don't, I want to see the four other years only. I go and remove. And as you can see, the uh, orange line is removed and I only see 2017 to 2020. But we could also suppose that I want to add a year uh, manually. Sorry for that. I want to add a year manually. What I can do then is I go on add series. I click on it and um, Google Sheets suggests me a few uh, data series uh, that I can use. So it realizes here the heading 2021. I could could just click on that and it will uh, be added again let's just do that right now and you can, as you can see the orange line is back i have 2021 in there so i have four uh, lines in this uh, five lines in this graph again but let's uh, just remove uh, this uh, line again for that purpose and say we want to add the uh, cells manually so you can manually select a data range if you click on the square right here or the four little squares uh, which uh, say select a data range uh, when you uh, see the picker here you just click on that and now you can select the data range manually I just need to move everything around a little bit so I can select the range so I've just done that and uh, it is always important if you select a range that you click in the empty uh, cell above it so it will just uh, insert all the data and also the header uh, right here. So as you can see, this is the data range. Once I click on OK, uh, it adds 2021. There's just a little problem uh, right here now because the um, data label is not there, but that's no problem. I'm also going to show you how you can do that. So what you do is you double click onto uh, this uh, legend and then you click one more time or two more times in my case and now it opens the chart editor and also the text formatting and here you have the option text label which says auto in gray I could now just enter or I can now just enter 2021 and uh, click somewhere else and as you can see 2021 is back so we have this label and it can change any label let's say I want to change the label for the um, yellow line and say this was actually 2015. Just do that um, and it's changed instantly. 
So yeah, that's that's all. This is uh, how you uh, graph multiple lines in Google Sheets. I really hope this uh, little tutorial was helpful to you. If so, please give it a like, hit the notification bell and uh, also follow our channel so you will be informed when new videos come out. Thank you so much for watching and your support. This was uh, Daniel from Trusted Tutorials. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you.